In order to fully understand the concept of weighing as it relates to the use of prescription balances, it is important to have a solid understanding of the terms sensitivity, sensitivity requirement, and minimum weighable quantity, commonly referred to as least weighable quantity. The narration that follows, along with the accompanying slides, will hopefully enhance your understanding of prescription balance sensitivity and sensitivity requirements as they relate to the Class A double pan torsion balance, also known as the Class 3 torsion balance, which is shown here. The term sensitivity is defined as the smallest weight that gives a perceptible change in the indicating element of a balance. In the case of the class 3 double pan torsion balance, the indicating element consists of the pointer and the scale, both of which are viewed through the viewing window located on the top of the balance between the weighing pans. Based on guidelines established by the National Institute for Standards and Technology, Class 3 torsion balances must either meet or exceed a sensitivity requirement of 6 mg with no load on the pans and with a 10 gram load on each pan. In other words, in order for a Class 3 torsion balance to meet the requirements for weighing pharmaceuticals, the amount of weight necessary to move the scale one division from its center resting point, as seen here, must be 6 milligrams or less. The smaller the weight required to move the scale one division, the greater the sensitivity of the balance. In order to ensure that your balance conforms to the accepted sensitivity guidelines, you can easily perform a simple sensitivity requirement test utilizing a 10 milligram weight. The first step in this test is ensuring that your balance is level by rotating the leveling screws at the base of the balance until the long center mark on the scale is in alignment with the pointer. Once you have ensured that your balance is level, you should then place a 10 milligram weight on one of the empty pans. Then release the locking arm so the pans move freely. Then observe the scale to see how many divisions the pointer has moved from its rest point. Using a 10 milligram weight, the rest point on your pointer should move at least one and one half divisions as shown here. In order for your balance to pass this step in the sensitivity requirement test. At this point, you may be asking, why one and one half divisions? Since we are using a 10 milligram weight to perform this test rather than a 6 milligram weight, which is not readily available, our sensitivity requirement of 6 milligrams will not be met unless the 10 milligram weight produces a movement of the pointer of at least one and one half divisions. In other words, the sensitivity requirement of the balance being tested is equal to the weight used to perform the test, 10 milligrams in this case, divided by the number of divisions the pointer is moved by that weight. Therefore, in order to achieve the sensitivity requirement of six milligrams or less, as established by NIST, the 10 milligram weight must move the pointer at least one and one half divisions. Stated yet another way, 10 milligrams moving the pointer one and one half divisions from its original rest point is roughly equal to six milligrams moving the pointer one division beyond its original rest point. The final step is to perform the sensitivity requirement test as outlined previously, only this time with a 10 gram load on each pan. Again, before proceeding, ensure that the balance is level. Then place a 10 gram weight 
in the center of each pan. Follow this by placing a 10 milligram weight on only one of the pans. Then release the locking arm and again observe the pointer to see how many divisions it moved from its original rest point. In order for the balance to pass the test, 10 milligrams should again move the pointer at least one and one half divisions with the 10 gram load just as it did without the 10 gram load. Once you have performed the sensitivity requirement testing and you know the sensitivity requirement of your balance, you can then calculate the least weighable quantity using the equation where SR is equal to the sensitivity requirement of the balance and percent %E is the maximum percent error allowed in weighing, typically accepted to be 5%. Applying this equation, using the sensitivity requirement of 6 milligrams and maximum error of 5%, you can see that the least weighable quantity in this case calculates to be 120 milligrams. In other words, the minimum amount of product that can be weighed out on a class 3 torsion balance with a sensitivity requirement of 6 milligrams and not exceed 5% margin of error in weighing is 120 milligrams.